All right, Jordan, thank you so much. We've got John Peep, I mean, John Peak, sorry about that, thinking about Peeps for Easter. <laughs> Hi, everybody. With, with Peep Brothers <laughs> Painting. And uh, he's also our host <clears throat> of our Paint Like a Pro video series on ApprovedHomePros.com. Now, you can find information on the exterior of your home on show extras, but also on tips and advice. That's where you're going to find Paint Like a Pro. And I know uh, you wanted to talk about exterior painting, Robin. Yes, because that is the first impression of your home. And there are some really easy things that you can do to spruce up your home just by painting a few things on the exterior. And uh, so we wanted to talk to John Peep Peek, <laughs> Peep Peep Peek, um, about those tips that we might want to take uh, to get ready for painting our homes. And I see that you brought a lot of tools. I so did. can you tell me what the most important tool is in a painter's toolbox? Well, Robin, I always tell my guys the most important tool in a painter's toolbox is his head. Ah. You've got to have the right attitude towards your work. Are you just in it to get it done and get it checked? Or are you in there to be a craftsman and get it done well and done right for the long term? Well, we know that you're the craftsman. So can you review some of the tips with us that we need sure. to take, or the steps that we need to take? Sure, sure. You know, the first step we have in, in starting a paint job is walking around the project with the owner to make sure that there aren't any issues that we're unaware of, such as making sure the gate's closed so the dog doesn't get out, that type of thing. Very the, important, yeah. dog mom. Yep, yep. Now, the first thing, though, is to clean the house, make sure that the surface that's going to get painted it is clean and so that we don't get mildew growing through. So we wash down the house with a dilute solution of bleach and biodegradable soap. And that gets rid of the dirt, the chalk, and the mildew. Okay, and, and how does that work for our plants? It's no problem at all. We rinse down the house uh, free of the dilute solution with a lot of water. Okay. So everything is clean so and your, your plants get watered. And plants are clean and watered. <laughs> okay, okay, good. And what else? Well. Then the next thing we do is we'll we'll prep. There's a lot of the homes here are stucco. So we'll dig out the cracks in the stucco, patch things up so the texture matches. There's various techniques to do that, depending on the type of stucco you have. And then we'll use, say, a carbide scraper to scrape down the wood and get it down to a feathered edge so that we don't have peeling paint. So that's a carbide scraper. Uh, painter always has one of these. It's a five-in-one tool. So you can hand work a surface and scrape it out. It always goes in a pocket right there. Oh, the very good. Pan. Okay. We've got sandpaper to sand the edges, caulking for the corners. Sure. So it looks like I mean, you have a lot of things here. I so, do. So what about, uh, so you're on a job maybe for a week or so. Right. Where do all these things go? Ah, I'm glad you asked that. Well, what we do is on, on the job site, we set up a shop area and we put down plastic and we put down a tarp and a table just like this so we can lay our tools out neatly with supplies underneath. Yep. Real quick now, I want to get to the fan question, but here's the deal. Mm. Uh, fires, you, there's a way to avoid a fire and I can't believe this even causes a fire. Yes, yeah, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you use a rag and it gets oil soaked uh, and you pile those rags up, they can spontaneously combust. This really does happen, I tested it. It worked. Yes, I've actually had two friends whose homes have burned down due to rags going in a trash can. So what do you do then? Put them in well, water? Or? Yeah, we have a bucket of water. And when you're finished with the rag, it goes directly into that bucket and stays wet. All right, real quick Good. for our fan question. Uh -huh. um, I want to change the look of my home, but can't afford to do a full paint job right now. Will painting the trim only be an option? So can you paint the trim only? Yes, absolutely. Do the trim, maybe the garage door, the front door, with fine paints of Europe, and you're going to make a big difference in how your home looks. All right, and of course you can reach uh, John Peake through 619-202-1158. Uh, That's 619-202-1158. Pick up the phone and call because charity as well. You're doing something special. Absolutely. We have this program called Win, Win, Win. The customer wins getting a beautiful paint job, but we also make a donation of 5% to their favorite charity. So the charity wins as well. And then of course we win, we get to do a paint job. Excellent, good, thank you so much. What wonderful tips that we've learned today. Thank you. Thank All right, you. John Peake, Peake Brothers Painting. Thanks for coming in. You bet.